Hi everyone, this is Matt with Learn About Law, and in this video I'm going to discuss the important topic of what happens when your landlord passes away in Indiana. The sudden death of a landlord can be a challenging situation, leaving tenants uncertain about their rights and responsibilities. Our comprehensive guide will help you navigate the legal implications and obligations that arise in such circumstances. First and foremost, it's crucial to understand that the death of a landlord does not terminate the lease. Instead, the lease continues under the ownership of a new individual or the deceased landlord's estate representative. This means that as a tenant, your rights and responsibilities remain unchanged, and you must continue to adhere to the terms of the rental lease. You should also be aware that even with the landlord's passing, you are still obligated to respect the terms of the lease, including paying rent. This not only protects your rights, but also ensures compliance with federal and state regulations. When it comes to paying rent after your landlord's death, rent payments should continue as usual. The personal representative or holder of a small estate affidavit is responsible for collecting rent and administering the deceased landlord's estate. Your rights and responsibilities as a tenant remain the same, and any changes to the lease agreement should be communicated to you in writing. To ensure a smooth transition, it's essential to identify the new property owner or rightful recipient of rent payments. If you're uncertain about this, reach out to a probate lawyer handling the case for guidance. Regarding security deposits, you are entitled to have them returned within 45 days of vacating the premises minus any deductions for outstanding rent or damages as allowed by Indiana law. In cases where the landlord dies with no heirs, your tenancy remains unchanged. You are still protected under the terms of your lease agreement, even if the property goes to the state. If, unfortunately, you pass away as a tenant, the lease termination process involves the designation, designated next of kin or executor being responsible for removing your belongings. The tenant's estate is liable for any unpaid rent and damages until the lease is officially terminated. In conclusion, understanding your rights and responsibilities as a tenant in Indiana when your landlord passes away is vital. It ensures a smooth transition and helps you navigate this complex situation with confidence. Thanks for watching. To learn more, check out the article linked below. Be sure to leave any questions you have in the comments section and subscribe for more legal news daily.